Let me entrain you. We are the thinking part of the universe. We are electricity triggering life. Like those ancient tribes who aimed flaming arrows at the eclipse of the sun, with nothing to fear about the heavens. They need us in order to observe them and impregnate them with our consciousness. Someday the stardust within us will meet the stars above us, and it is then that our purpose as a species will shine through the mist of the centuries, justifying all our deeds and struggles. Every time a guardian of the capital handcuffs a protester, he stands in the way of humanity's march to the stars. There is always a voice calling us back in the mud, ignoring the old pervasive field that affects every single magnetic needle in the planet and turns it towards the north. When did God ever do such a miracle without the use of armies? A single compass is more powerful than all the armicles in the world. It is the same battle the electroweak interaction gives against gravity in the hearts of stars. There is always a force that wants things to implode, but there are forces that encourage stars to shine and impregnate the cosmos with the seeds of life. That same force picks every single magnetic needle on the Earth and taps it gently towards the north. That same force radiates alpha waves in our brains when we dream, when we meditate and reach climax. That same force helps our voices travel across the seas and our songs be heard from coast to coast and beyond our solar system. Whenever a cop hits a protester, he stands in the way of that force. Marketeers trying to entrain all our brain waves in the same frequency and replace the north of consciousness with a profit of capitalism stand in the way of that force. An upside down world, a world where the true miracles are ignored and illusions like money or Jesus walking on water are praised as the mantra of common sense. Yet all the stars keep shining every night and the sun keeps rising every dawn, regardless of the power of any belief system. Our afterlife lies in the gentle vibrations of the magnetic field and not in the brutal teachings of governments. No matter how many times they kill us, we will always return to the same invisible amniotic fluid that attracts magnetic needles and make strains in Tokyo levitate. We will rise against patriarchy and we will kiss and make love to each other regardless of our gender and race. We will question and explore and explode in a riot, invent new tools and discover new ways to escape from old paradigms. The prison of Rikers and the prisoners of Mordovia, the prison of the earth and the prison of ourselves. We shall be free.